Hey, how are you all doing? Frankie says you rest, you rust. I'm going to show you how to do a uh, Nautilus shell here. A lot of people have requested it. So you've seen it before, but I thought I'd do something so I'm not resting. One of the things when Frankie uh, said that years ago, I still remember that. But also uh, something that I say is that um, I'd rather burn out than rust out, but I don't know what's happening if you're burning and rusting at the same time. So keeping the fingers busy, so just keep an eye out on this, and um, I'll show you how to do this, and I'll go slow, okay? I hope you're having a great day or evening. This is an Areca palm, and you can get the uh, TP foliage that's much smaller. You want to take, this is the front side, and this is the back side. You take the back side and you bend it so it comes towards you, otherwise you're going to break it going the other direction. Then you'll start with a simple braid, like you'd be braiding your hair. And you have three groups. Right goes over the middle, becomes a middle, add one. Left goes over the middle, add one. Right goes over the middle, add one. Left goes over the middle, add one. So you want to keep three separate groups on this, okay? And I'm going to add one from this side and then I'll go over to the left side. And you want to start out small, and then you'll continually get larger with this. Okay, left is over, add one. You're gonna kind of keep it tight because you want this to kind of look like the moon in the first quarter. Okay, so the left will come over here and I'll add another here, keep it tight. Then the right comes over, add one in. When these are half this size, you can probably do them in a minute and a half, uh, maybe two. This larger one uh, might take uh, two and a half to three minutes. Whoops, slipping. And you can take and use the larger coconut palm or rica palm and make these. We made some of them like eight, nine foot tall for larger arrangements. But they're very fast, cost effective once you learn how to do this. And any tropical arrangement, you could even put them in arrangements that are not tropical. Uh, pictures I've been posting on uh, my account, my Facebook account. I haven't had any birds in them, but almost every arrangement that I have made, I could have put a nice uh, bird in to it. So it's, there's right, goes over the middle, becomes the middle. Left goes over the middle, becomes the middle. We add one, right is over the middle, add one. So it's continually getting just a little bit larger each time you're putting these in. A little bit larger getting a nice C shape here. Remember I said, just like the crescent moon, the moon in the first quarter. In classes, sometimes I will bend <coughs> a clothes hanger and um, tell the students if they don't come in in the morning with a smile on their face, then they have a choice of taking a clothes hanger home, inserting it in their mouth, and uh, come to class with a big smile. Of course, I could give them a banana in the morning and do the same thing, and everybody has fun with that. If you come in in the morning and you got a chip on your shoulder, then flip it off. It's a great day. Every day above ground is a wonderful day. I'm just blessed and grateful. I'm able to walk the planet every day. When my feet hit the ground in the morning, I just say, praise the Lord. Another day on the planet. Another wonderful day. Now you can see it's crescent shape coming down. I'm getting ready to really tighten it up here. I hope everybody's going to have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And <clears throat> all of you um, watch the induction ceremonies. That should be really great. Congratulations to all the uh, new inductees. So when I get to this point, I just flip it around here, and then I tie it in an overhand knot. Just like that. And then I would usually take my clippers and clip these off so it's nice and clean on the bottom. And I clippers are, well, I don't even need them. That's fine. But I would just cut these off here and here. And then you have a beautiful uh, Nautilus shell. <coughs> this is something I do in class students to get, get a kick out of that. Some of you remember Foghorn, Leghorn, the rooster. Shaking a tail feather. How are you doing, son? So I'm going to come over here. And um, I already have a pre-made Nautilus shell in the arrangement. 
This is one of the cypress knees that I picked up when I was in Florida, and I have a piece that's about three and a half foot tall that I've made an arrangement on, and I'll be posting it later. Uh, this is one of the, uh, like a Janet Craig succulent, Fedrosina, that grows outside our house here. And this is the little blooms that come from the uh, Salome plant that we have in our front yard. And of course, beautiful tropical heliconias from uh, Greenpoint Nurseries in Hawaii. The blooms on, this is the Agapantha, and so the blooms are already gone. I'll be showing some arrangements later that have the seed pods on them that are really cool. And of course, I have some of these in my yard that were five to six foot high, really gorgeous stuff. Uh, Strelitzia foliage that I have two plants out in front of our house. Each one of them has maybe two to three hundred leaves on them out. The blooms are not available now, at least they're not growing in my yard. There's some succulents that I grow. Also, there's a sago palm here and beautiful Midori anthuriums tucked to the back. And then there's a small little palm weave that I've done here with some palm that uh, was dried up. So I hope you all have a uh, beautiful 4th of July, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. And don't forget, uh, Frankie Shelton has a scholarship fund. If you can help her out, that would be great. She's a wonderful lady.